morning students today's topic is small fraction small fraction is denoted by zeta what do you mean by small fraction small fraction means the ratio of number of moles of one component to the total number of moles of all the components present in the solution suppose there are two component a and b a having 2 moles b having 3 moles so how will you calculate the mole fraction then mole fraction of a component that is equal to number of moles of a component divided by total number of component here two components are present so uh, number of moles of a plus number of moles of b it means n a divided by n a plus n b how will you calculate the mole fraction uh, it is n a is equal to 2 and total is 5 2 2 plus 3 5 now same as we calculate the mole fraction of component b is equal to n b number of moles of b component divided by total number of moles of component that is 3 3 by 2 plus 3 that is 5 or you can say that the mole fraction of a plus the mole fraction of b that is equal to 1 so in a binary solution having only two component so the mole fraction of uh, all the component that is equal to 1 here we take one question 20 g of nuh dissolve in 40 g of h2 calculate the mole fraction of a and b then form uh, apply formula zeta a is equal to number of moles of a divided by number of moles of both the component how will you calculate first of all number of moles because mass is given but moles are not given so first of all we calculate the number of moles number of moles is equal to given mass divided by molar mass suppose nb is the number of moles of solute nuh and na is used for solvent h2 given mass of nuh is 20 it is 20 molar mass means so, uh, sodium 23 oxygen 16 hydrogen 1 so 23 plus 16 plus 1 that is equal to 40 it means 20 by 40 that is equal to half half means 0.5 here we calculate the number of moles of h2o given mass is 40 g and molecular mass of h2o is 18 40 divided by 18 that is equal to 2.22 putting these values here 2.22 divided by uh, number of moles of both the component and here it is divided after that answer is 0.81 next how will you calculate the mole fraction of b component uh, zeta a plus zeta b is equal to 1 zeta a value is calculated 0.81 plus zeta b is equal to 1 zeta b is equal to 1 minus 0.81 that is equal to 0.19 now the next question is that A solution has 46% weight by weight ethanol in water. Calculate the mole fraction of ethanol. 46% means 46 gram weight by weight means 46 gram of ethanol in 100 gram of water. Water is a solution. It means first of all it is present in gram. Mass is given, but here first of all we calculate the number of moles number of moles of ethanol that is equal to given mass uh, that is 46 divided by molar mass molecular mass is uh, 46 of ethanol that is equal to 1 means number of moles of ethanol that is 1 and here water uh, means 100 g of solution it means this is the uh, mass of solute or this is the mass of solution so solute plus solvent is equal to solution 
तो 100 माइनस फोर्टी सिक्स दैट इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी फोर दिस इज द मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट फिफ्टी फोर डिवाइड में मोलर मास इज एटीन दैट इज इक्वल टू थ्री आफ्टर कैलकुलेट कैलकुलेटिंग द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ बोथ द कंपोनेंट देन अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला मोल फ्रैक्शन मोल फ्रैक्शन जीटा ए इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ ए डिवाइड में टोटल नंबर ऑफ मोल्स तो वन डिवाइड में वन प्लस थ्री दैट इज इक्वल टू वन बाय फोर वन बाय फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव जीटा ए प्लस जीटा बी इज इक्वल टू वन हेयर जीटा ए कैलकुलेटेड दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव प्लस जीटा बी इज इक्वल टू वन जीटा बी इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज पी पी एम पी पी एम मीन्स पार्ट्स पर मिलियन मिलियन मीन्स टेन इज टू पावर सिक्स मीन्स टेन लैक इट इज प्रेजेंट इन अ वेरी स्मॉल क्वान्टिटी पी पी एम इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंपोनेंट डिवाइड में टोटल नंबर ऑफ पार्ट्स ऑफ ऑल द कंपोनेंट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन और मल्टीप्लाई टेन इज टू पावर सिक्स दिस This method is very easy to express the concentration in ppm uh, when a solute is present in a less quantity. Example: Suppose sugar is present, sugar, uh, sugar is present uh, four ppm in a solution. Four ppm means four gram of sugar present in ten is to power six gram of solution. means it is a part of the component per million parts of the solution now next is molarity molarity is denoted by capital m molarity is equal to the number of moles of solute dissolved in 1 liter of solution molarity molarity is equal to number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution that are present in liter it means its unit is moles per liter how will you calculate the number of moles given mass divided by molar mass it uh, its unit is moles per liter it is also write capital m here we take example molarity of salt solution is 2m m matlab molar it means 2 moles of salt present in 1 liter of solution how will you calculate the number of moles given mass divided by molar mass unit is mole per liter mole per liter or m capital m that is molar now take uh, one example find the molarity of 40 g of nuh dissolved in 250 ml of solution how will you calculate the molarity molarity is equal to number of moles divided by volume of solution in liter but here mass is given volume is given so first of all we will calculate the number of moles number of moles is equal to given mass divided by molar mass given mass is 40 and molar mass of nuh that is sodium 23 plus 16 plus 1 that is equal to 40 40 divided by 40 that is equal to 1 number of moles is 1 volume is 250 this is uh, volume is present in ml so it is converted into liter so divided uh, multiply by 1000 that is equal to 4m for molar now next question based on molarity calculate the molarity of 4.9 g of h2so4 present in 500 cm cube of solution so here mass is present so first of all we calculate the number of moles given mass 4.9 divided by molar mass of h2so4 that is 98 here 1 by 20 number of moles are calculated after that volume given that is 500 cm cube it is uh, converted into liter that is multiply by 1000 to so 1 by 20 multiply 2 by 1 that is equal to 0.1 molar now next question based on molarity 
find the molarity of 10% weight by weight aqueous solution of H2SO4 if the density of the solution is 1.1 gram per milliliter first of all 10 by 10% means 10 gram H2SO4 present in 100 gram of solution here density is given first of all we calculate the number of moles number of moles mass is given 10 gram given mass 10 gram molar mass of H2SO4 that is 98 but here volume is not given so density given density is equal to mass by volume density 1.1 mass present in 100 gram of solution that is 100 divided by volume here we calculate first of all calculate the volume put this value in this formula V and calculate after calculation answer is 1.12 capital M this is capital M now next is next question is find the molarity of water if density is 1 gram per ml is given consider 100 ml of solution mass of H2 is uh, how we will calculate the mass of uh, H2 means solution mass is equal to density into volume the density given 1 volume that is 100 ml it means uh, molarity is equal to number of moles divided by volume that is equal to 100 divided by 18 18 is the mol uh, molar mass of water next volume volume that is 100 ml ml it is converted into liter then 1000 divided by 18 that is 55.5 molar capital M now one more question based on uh, molarity molarity changes with the change in temperature because the uh, in uh, the formula of molarity number of moles divided by volume of solution so here volume changes with the change in temperature so molarity changes with the change in temperature now next topic is molality molality is denoted by small m molal molality is equal to number of moles of solute present in 1 kg of the solvent here we use solvent not solution means mass of solvent in kg it units is moles per kg or molal molarity is independent of temperature because it does not depend on the volume of solution uh, it depends only on mass so it does not change with the temperature so we can say that molality is independent of temperature now first of all calculate the number of moles number of moles is equal to the given mass divided by molar mass question is that find the molality of 20 gram of NaOH dissolved in 100 gram of solution molality is equal to number of moles divided by mass of solvent uh, 20 gram means mass given divided by molar mass of NaOH that is 40 mass of solvent is not given first of all calculate the mass of solvent means solution mass is 100 solute is 20 to so 100 minus 20 that is 80 80 is the mass of solvent divided by 1000 to so 2 by 4 multiply 1000 by sorry 100 by 8 that is 25 by 4 6.25 molal next question is if 0.85 gram of ammonia is dissolved in 100 gram of solution find the molality if the density of solution is 1.2 gram per milliliter in this question only mass is given volume is given density is given but how will you calculate the 
molality first of all density is equal to mass by volume the mass of mass is equal to density into volume density is 1.2 volume is 100 100 ml so here first of all we calculate the mass of solution that is 120 gram but this is the mass of solution but in this question we should calculate the mass of solvent how will you calculate the mass of solution is equal to mass of solute plus mass of solvent the solution mass is given 120 and solute is given 0 0.85 so mass of solvent is equal to 120 minus 0 0.85 after calculate the mass of solvent put this value here number of moles that is 0 0.85 given divide by molar mass of ammonia that is 17 divide by mass of solvent calculated from here that is 119.15 after calculation answer is 5.95 uh, molal now students uh, one more question arise from here uh, molality and molarity out of which is better answer is molality is better than molarity because molality depend on the mass which does not change with the temperature but molarity based on volume which changes with temperature so on increasing temperature molarity decreases but molality does not change so molality is independent of temperature and it is better than molarity uh, now next uh, some concentration terms which are independent of temperatures that are uh, mass percentage and mole fraction these are the two important concentration terms which are independent of temperature and mole fraction has no unit means it is unitless quantity thank you students